Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at an accessory for the Age of Rebellion Star Wars role-playing game. This is a specialization deck from the Diplomat grouping uh, for the Analyst, uh, specifically. This uh, is the Talents, I believe they're called in this game. Um, yeah, uh, ta there's 20 cards, all Talents, available in the analyst specialization uh and these are effectively like uh any other kind of role-playing game but this is just a little way to kind of have everything in front of you and get an extra five bucks out of you so they run for about five to ten bucks per pack once these go out of print they'll probably skyrocket but they're interesting little add-ons, give you something to play with while you're waiting to do something in a role-playing game. But yeah, you do need the Desperate Allies book, that's what everything is taken out of, uh, in order to really get the use out of this, because there's reference to page numbers, that sort of thing. Uh, these are not a standalone kit for your character, they're an accessory so you don't have to constantly be flipping through the book. So let's open this up and see what we got. These things are just kind of stuck shut. They're not really sealed per se. So it actually opens stupid easy. That's why you're going to want to check to make sure all of these are here when you get, as soon as you can. So first up we've got our backing card, which has uh, credits on it. If you're a completionist, this will matter. If you're not, don't worry about it. Uh, and the front card is, all, they're, all these cards are the same level of quality, so even this disposable card is nice quality. Um, and it gives you a little how to use the deck sort of thing. So that is on there if you need it. And then uh, this is put out by uh, Fantasy Flight, so you know you're getting something that's, generally speaking, a pretty solid thing. But the back of the cards all have the same uh, image on them, so you can tell them apart from somebody else. It says Diplomat Analyst and has this lady playing Candy Crush or whatever in the in the distant past. So let's, uh, let's see what we got here. First up we have Stroke of Genius, cost 25. Uh, Diplomat Analyst is card number 20 of 20. They are numbered, that's really nice. And it does say what deck they're out of in case you don't look at the back because you're super lazy or you have them sleeved. And they're numbered. Then we have Thorough Assessment, cost of 25. Then we have Knowledge Specialization, cost of 25. We've got Dedication, cost 25. Natural Programmer, cost of 20. Another Knowledge Specialization. Are these the same? Huh. No, it's this one's cheaper. Otherwise, it's like a rank system, so you can get it multiple times to increase your chances. Same image though, that's very tricky. You gotta look at the card number and the cost. They're different. We got Know It All, cost of 20. Grit, cost of 20. Encoded Communique, cost of 15. Code Breaker, cost 15. Passive Ranked. Improved Research, cost 15. There's another Knowledge Specialization. This is card number 9, though. And this one is cost 15 instead of the others. We got a Grit, cost of 10. Supporting Evidence, cost of 10. Card number 6 is a Researcher, cost of 10. Valuable Facts, cost of 10. Technical Aptitude, cost of 5. Code Breaker, cost of 5. Knowledge Specialization, cost of 5. And lastly, Researcher, cost of 5. Now you may notice that there is some numbers down here at the bottom. Um, 
these are the requirements in order to buy it so like we get to this one here this is uh, valuable facts you need no cards one and six in order to have that so you would need to have researcher and um, whatever card six is um, supporting evidence this is how, how I understand it anyway so that's kind of cool it's got everything kind of condensed down into a dumbed down one paragraph thing with some neat looking art some of the art is repeated that does get kind of frustrating especially when the it's the same skill and um, I don't know I just kind of find that a little annoying because uh, the art is really good and they are recycling some of the art from Lake Imperial Assault to kind of tie in with it but it is very beautiful art and the card quality is fantastic on these so it's a great deal for the if you get it and get it for five or six bucks um, ten bucks is a little steep beyond that I won't buy it if it's if it's unless you're really forgetful and too lazy to get some index cards and write the same information down and reference the page numbers then I don't know what to tell you then okay go for it but even I'm not that lazy uh, but they're neat little decks if you've got a couple extra bucks and you, you're playing the character kit I would say pick it up the card quality is fantastic fantasy flight does a real good job they rarely disappoint so yeah I mean I, I would definitely pick this up if I was playing age of rebellion I've got the beginner box and a couple of these and a couple of supplementary materials we may look at in the near future. I'm trying to get the core book. And um, I'm going to start reviewing role play books on here at some point. So hopefully that will uh, uh, work out. But in the meantime, I, I think this is a good purchase for under 10 bucks. So that will do it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching and supporting the channel. And we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.